How you going? Welcome back to Valheim. My name is Brendan and today we are going to be building a wizard's tower. Now on this small little island here, I obviously want to build a wizard's tower. Now I've done a bunch of really cool builds in previous videos. So if you want to, you can go and check them out. But right here, I want to utilize that island for a wizard's tower so that I can store all my magical gear plus the tier workbench and all that kind of stuff. Problem is it's out in the water and there are some, you know, residents that are out there. So I'm just going to quickly deal with the uh, residents and the Drakkar that I have here is stock full of stone. Oh. That backfired really. So I'm just going to uh, relocate them. Now that they've been successfully relocated, oh, actually, now that they've been successfully relocated, I can now take the boat over and begin raising the ground a bunch of stone and uh resources to build a portal perfect there we go now i can teleport back to get more resources when the boat runs out and uh <clears throat> and repair my tools and stuff like that Cool, I can begin. So this part here, I'm just gonna raise up as high as I can, because I'm, I'm I'm a little nervous because the rest of the rest of the island is all here of that. No, we'll talk about that death. Uh, the rest of the island here is all meadows, with the exception of a uh, black forest right there, and this little island, which is also a black forest. Now the reason I'm nervous is that we're now at Ashlands, so harder raids can and will spawn. Now they don't spawn in the meadows, but they do spawn in the black forest. So I'm hoping nothing crazy is going to spawn, or at the very least I can get the area elevated fast enough so that if it does, it's not so much of an issue, but we'll see. I can't tell if this is too big or too small. Alright, I'm gonna grab some wood and just test out the size. I have a feeling it'll be too small. It might need to be bigger. So I might not be able to make it that high. All right, so that's the general structure. I think it's definitely going to be too tall. At least I know now. So I'm just going to have to lower it down a little bit and just widen this actual island. So. Yeah, I think it's good. Yeah, I reckon that's good. Okay, cool. I'm going to go and grab some wood so that I can... Do the same thing with like the, you know, that ring, but do it with uh, wood iron beams. Because the, what the hell? There you go. The majority of the structure, the internal workings of the structure will be wood iron beams to give extra strength. Otherwise, it will not stand up because it'll be too tall. But that wasn't too bad. That was actually reasonably painless, which was nice. Oh, I need to go grab a forge. I'll go do that. Great. It's raining. Got this portal hub pretty.
Oh, it's not raining here because it's a different biome. That's useful. Okay, that's pretty handy. <laughs> okay, sweet. So now what I'll do, I'll just do the actual outline of the ring. Uh, so that we know where to build the marble. And then it's pretty quick after that. Cool. All right. Now I just need to go and get some marble and build vertically. This part is done. To make sure I put in the markers of the iron beams so I can actually find them easy because the iron beams will follow. Oh, they get more. We'll continue the whole way up. So I'll uh, build the iron beams up a bit and then get some marble and start building. So that will make life a little bit more fun. So I did have to make some minor adjustments to the ring because uh, it was. Oh, no, no, don't fall down. Because it was going around the outside, so I've had to slightly change it. But uh, yeah, I mean, it goes up. So it should hopefully give us the height that we need. Now all I need to do is build up. Which I'm going to very patiently do. Now I can swap to those. Oh, I need to get more black marble. But yeah, I can swap to the two pieces and just keep going. So, you know, it, it'll it'll alternate so that it actually looks like brickwork going up. So it'll be good. These stairs are really cool. I actually haven't used them before. This is the first time I've used them. But that's perfect. You can get a high with it. I mean, granted, I've got the um, iron beam inside to add to, you know, structural strength, but the spiral, it's just nice to actually be able to work with spiral stairs. Because, like, I remember back when you had to use, like, you know, core wood beams and you had to, like, change them. Like, you had to rotate, like, one at a time. And you had to, like, it just wasn't clean. This is nice. Although I don't know, I don't think there's a handrail for it though. Not that it really matters, but. Cool though. Ooh. This would have been, oh, this would have been good for the lighthouse. Oh, it's cool though. Uh, now for the door, I was going to go for the burger door, but it actually won't fit with this build just because the, the cutout in the stone, like, like I could use it, but it just won't sit right. So I'm just going to opt for the Ashwood door because I think it just looks better. So that's where I'm at with that. Anyway, I'm going to keep building the marble walls up until we get to the desired height. And I'll probably have a couple of different floors, which would be good. Cool. Okay, there we go. That's probably the max height of the marble that I reckon I'll use, which is high. Like this is tall. Um, I'm going to start creating the floors. It's either going to be two or three floors. I'll see how the structural integrity goes. If it's weak, it'll be two. If it's strong, I'll go for three. So I'll start actually doing the flooring now and then we'll work our way up. But and it's high. Like it's not like it's low to the ground. It's 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 far up. Yeah, it's cool. Cool. All right, I'm gonna get started in the wood. So you know what I could do? Because I'm I'm having I'm having clearance 
problems here. But what might be... a more viable option. Is that? No, it doesn't fit. All right, what I think I'm gonna do. Okay. And then just do like a normal ladder from here up to other other floor. Oh, I could use the Ashwood stair. That could be pretty cool. Yeah, I might do that. That would make more sense because I'll fit more in. Yeah, that would make more sense. And then actually fit. My head fit under that. No, I can't. All right. This is this is one slight problem. It's just gonna have to rejig the floor a little bit to make it that it fits. Oh yeah, that fits pretty good. I don't want it just for symmetry purposes. I just want to do that. Just so it's symmetrical. Keel. One downside to this floor is that it's not going to be like... The pattern's going to be all off. But it's fine. I can, uh, I can put down a rug or something. Our rug fixes everything, right? The hell am I putting that down on? There we go. God, that is appalling, but that works. Because I can go down and up. Excellent. And then what I can do, just as a, you know, like a hand handrail almost. Oh man. Oh, oh that doesn't really fit. Yeah, that doesn't really fit. I'll figure something out. But anyway, that's good for that, I think. So what I'll do, I'll start on the walls because I'm going to make it all glass. But I need wood trim in between. Do... Do I use dark wood? Holes, pop. I might use dark wood actually for this. Might look good. Yeah, I'm gonna use dark wood. Whee! Oh. Oh, okay. There we go. All right, let's go repair and grab the wood and tar to get this. Get up, get that done. So I've discovered a slight problem. I can put glass around the entire window, but I can't do it in the middle because it needs to be touching wood. So what I'm thinking I might do Now, I have no idea if this is going to work. I'm hoping it will. Jesus, just snap. Thank you. All right, cool. Let's see if that works. It does. Okay. How's it look? Well, that actually looks kind of cool. Then I could... No. Uh... 
could do that. Or do I opt for that? It looks better that or the Ashwood Arch. Probably that to be honest, because if I put in Ashwood Arch, it's going to. Oh, that's not at all what I wanted to do. Change the wood texture. Oh, it doesn't really. Does it? No, it doesn't. Oh, I'm just going to do that one then. I like that one a lot more. If I'm perfectly honest. Yeah, it doesn't look like it changes the texture really. I'm going to opt for that. I just prefer that over the uh, other one. Because I, I know, to me, I just like it a little bit more. That's all. Cool. All right. I have a plan. I'm going to do that for all the windows now. I'm glad that that works. Long spiral down. Spiral stake is cool though. Oh, the dead has been summoned. All right. Can they even, I don't even think they can get me up here. Wait, can they even spawn up here to be honest? I don't think they can spawn on the island because there's nowhere for them to spawn. Okay, sweet. Well, naturally, you know, when you build in a survival world, that's uh, that's what happens. Um, now I've done the glass and the arches. Looks okay. I guess it's the only way I can really make the window to work. So uh, now I want to get the stairs in. I'll do one there. Might be a similar thing where it's just a spiral. The uh, here so that I can. Oh, it doesn't really. That there. Yeah, I'm, yeah, that might work a bit better. Okay. I'm just trying to keep it so that I don't bang my head. It's not restricting like where I'm walking. Preferably. I'll deal with this. In a bit, it'll probably be something like that. Hmm. How do I want to do it? You know, I'm just going to keep... I'll, I'll just keep the stairs going until it gets to the point where I can't hold any longer. Oh, that works well. Because that's the height that I need, actually. That works well. Perfect. Lovely. And then put that there. And it doesn't... Why does it not fit? Why does it look weird? Why does that look so weird? I'll do this floor and then see how strong everything is. Uh, and that will determine if I'm going to do a third floor. But I can... Down here could be like where my armor and weapon set is. And then up here could be the refinery. So I could make it work on two floors. Do I just do two floors? A lot of work for three floors, considering all I'm going to be using it for is that I might just do two floors. I have a habit of like overcomplicating my builds, so I might try and like simplify this build. <laughs> a little bit simpler. Huh? If you don't know what I mean by overcomplicating my builds, I would recommend watching some of the... Uh, Oh, some of the, the videos I've done in terms of builds. There are some immense builds that I have done. I don't think I'm going to be able to do a third floor because the those beams are pretty weak. Yeah, I'll do two. I'll do two. Okay, we have a balcony. Let's 
actually coming along quite nice. Okay, door will be here, same as the other one down there that will like where that will be. So question is, do I have it as a door? Do I have it as an open arch? And I think I'm gonna do it as an open arch. There you go. That will be the door out to the balcony. So the rest will all be windows again, but that there will be the door. Weeds. Okay. Done. All right. That is put Just some tr trim. Oof. I figured you know what would be good for handrails. These decorative windows. I mean, to, oh, to be honest, they are like the perfect height. Oh, I can't get that. There we go. Yeah, it's like the perfect height for a handrail. All right, now for the believe it or not trickier part which is the roof uh i kind of want to have the roof overhang but i just don't know how much roofs are always a pain do that around the entire area and then have the roof go in on that and then just eventually make it steeper Oh, the raid finished. Didn't even say anything. All right, so that's there done. And then I can cross it up there. And then with the 25, sorry, 26 degree. And then it's a more gradual roof. And then I just put something in between to like fill that section in. But yeah, my, I'll do that. Work my way up with that. I just need to get a ladder in. Work the way that way. This roof should be the roofs are always like for me anyway, the most annoying because I'm like really OCD with them. That's annoying. Everything's going to get damaged. No, oh, we need to move quick. Basically, here's what I'm thinking is just at this point, it goes steep. And then I go for a steeper roof as well and then everything connects. But now I'm kind of working quick because it's going to be a pain in the ass to have to run around and repair everything. All right, and then the roof, if it wants to actually... Okay, first layer done, onto the second layer. I think I'm good. Says I'm sheltered. That roof came along way cleaner than I thought it would. Yeah, this, this might be the nicest roof I've done. That's come along way, like way better than I actually initially thought it would. That looks really good. Okay, cool. Duh. Now I can kind of decorate and move things. Oh, actually, hang on. There we go. Now I can decorate and move things over. I also need to elevate that little island down there for the portal. 
Looks good. It's nice. What's it look like from down there? Okay, it looks kind of bland. Definitely needs some decorations. Yeah, it definitely needs deck. Oh, this is rough. Yeah, it definitely needs some decorations. All right, I'll get some lights set up. Uh, do some. De All right, I'll get some lights set up, do some decorations and stuff like that. Like, just kind of basically start furnishing it. But the actual building is finished. Thank God. Uh, it looks cool. Actually, it looks really cool. I wonder what it looks like from over there. Can I make that swim? I don't actually know. I'm going to try it. Oh, easy. With stamina to spare. Oh, that looks cool. That looks really cool. All right, let's go get some lighting set up for it. Let's decorate it. Let's just make it look a little bit, you know. Oh, Jesus, you little. <laughs> Actually jumped. <laughs> um, all right, let's make it all, all nice and pretty and stuff like that. And then that's the job all done. Oh, great wolf minute. Let's get the hell out of me. Yeah, is that your friend over there? Yeah. Shooting fish in a barrel. It's crazy how much just a bit of wood can actually make a difference. Like that was just like a boring black slab of marble. But now there's actually a bit of like you know, a bit of wood to it, which is cool. Oh, so I got black marble going from the bottom all the way to the top. Got the portal here. Nice lens, wood trim on the outside. Here we go. This stuff obviously won't stay here. It's just, just for the building side of things. But up the nice spiral care, spiral staircase. Onto the first floor, which is where the armor racks and weapons and staffs and stuff like that would be. That one's really high. Why was that one so high? Oh, just sits weird on it. And then up into where the actually actual crafting section is. What of Embla. Oh, there's new gear. I didn't realize there was, I oh, know I knew there was a new cape. I just didn't realize there was new magic gear. Oh, I probably saw it, just forgot, but yeah, that's the, uh, the refinery. And then add on to the uh, balcony. This looks sick. This looks really, really cool. I'm really, I'm really happy with the roof. The roof is like, I'm clean. If, if, if I was to redo it, I'd probably change like the glass. Like I do like the glass windows and stuff like that. But now that I've kind of like decorated in it a little bit, I'd probably get rid of the glass and the metal bars. I tried something different for this and I'm just honestly not a huge fan. I probably would just go back to like, you know, decorative windows, divider, stuff like that. Like I just prefer them so much better, but you know, if you guys want to do a build like this, do it, uh, you know, use materials that you guys like, you know, but it's cool. I like it. I managed to get the mage stuff out of the castle here where it needs to be. Now I'm going to go check it out from the tower over there. Oh, it doesn't look that good from here, actually. <laughs> It's because it's like right of that distance, like like right on the um the point of that distance. That looks janky, man. <laughs> All right, that's a bit jank, but <laughs> looks so stupid. Uh, it looks cooler up close, at least. All right. Well, anyway, that's probably going to be the last build that I do for a while. Uh, I'm going to be heading into the Ashlands and trying to finish this game, actually, because there's a whole bunch of really cool stuff that I've got planned once the actual playthrough is finished. There'll still be more builds, but probably more like dedicated builds, you know, like end game based builds kind of thing, like some cool, cool, real big builds. 
We're going to do some modded stuff, some challenge stuff, some really cool stuff that's planned. So if you haven't, make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any of those future videos. Hit the thumbs up button, drop a comment down below. Tell me if you've ever built something like this. Actually, better yet, join the Discord. Link is in the description below and share photos of the builds that you guys have done around Wizard Towers. I'd love to see how you guys have done them. This is just my little take on it. I'm, you know, there's millions of ways to do... Something just hit me. There's millions of ways to do different things in this game. Um, so I'm curious to see how you guys have done it yourself. So join the Discord, share it around. Anyway, thank you very much for hanging around to the very end and I will catch you in the next one. See you later.